this is how meditation changed my life. It actually saved my life, but before we get into it, I'll just talk about how I got into meditation and why I got into meditation. Uh, the first reason that I could think of was that I was just all over the place. I was a walking mess. I was like very impulsive. I was aggressive. I was um, uh, angry, sad, happy, all these emotions in one place. And I was very anxious. I was so anxious. I, I remember I'd get like five panic attacks a day and I'd count them. I'd, I'd have a time for each one especially at night and it was just a mess and I knew that I couldn't live that way I just couldn't so I'm going to take us back all the way to 2014 I think it was 2014 or 2015 uh, during the Boston Marathon I was actually living in Boston at the time and the bombing took place and I was a few feet away from the second bomb I was an American fish and uh, it was actually a five second window before I was going to be inside the impact zone because I remember it was the waiter whoever you are I don't remember you I never went back there after that incident but whoever you are I really thank you because if it weren't you telling me to come back to get my change I'm a hundred percent sure I would have been hit because the tree I was staring at where I wanted to actually check up on the first bomb because I thought it was fireworks and I was so excited to go out and see. I was like, oh, there's that tree. I'm going to just hold on to it and look up. And if it wasn't for that five second, 10 second window, I would have been there. And after that incident, I never really thought of it as anything different than an ordinary thing that could just happen to anyone. I actually just went on with my life. I didn't think of anything. I didn't think anything of it. Um, I was just like, okay, moving on. So moving on, the thoughts were there. Uh, they were just dormant. So they were there in the background. I never really gave them the time of day until a few years later. And everything went downhill. Like I started getting high functioning anxiety i had gad i had uh, like depression i was like in it no one knew but i was in it and i was good at hiding it uh but it wasn't until like i reached this dark dark place that i was like i need to change my life and if i didn't uh it's 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 not gonna end well so going into meditation i was like there is no way that this could work because i need professional help and at the time i didn't know how to go about it so i've been meditating for like an hour a day for two weeks and an hour a day felt like i meditated for a day a day basically it was so long i didn't know that it was recommended to start with five or ten minutes but I just had to do it because I was at a point where I'm like, I have to save me from me. So I was, I was so motivated to do it. And I had the patience. I'm, I was like, I'll be very patient with this as long as it takes. So it did take quite some time before I saw any results, like any good positive results. Because in the beginning, I was like all over the place. Like I couldn't sit down. I couldn't sit still. I was also dealing with intrusive thoughts and uh, obsessive thinking. It was, okay, let me explain it to you this way. It's like your mind is con is what's controlling you and what you're thinking and not the other way around. So I was basically a slave to my mind. I didn't really have any say on my day. So if I woke up and my mind is like, we're thinking about this today. I'm like, oh, okay, uh, I want to think of something else, but I couldn't, like, I just couldn't, the, the focus was on that specific thought for the whole day, and I, uh, later on, I found out that it was also a condition called pure O, pure OCD, but that's for another video, I guess, 
but I had all this, th these disorders that came about solely from not taking care of the PTSD that I had experienced and the anxiety that I had experienced. So I had to go back to the root and meditation was a hundred percent one of the reasons I got there. So yeah, meditating has been a big part of my life and it still is and it most likely still will be. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend you try it. But before you try it, you have to keep some things in mind. For instance, when you're meditating, your thought content doesn't matter. So this means that, let's say you're sitting down. So the whole idea behind meditation is you sit down and you just focus on your breathing. But obviously, none of us can do that. So basically, your thoughts are going to start popping up. Oh, Maybe I have to go clean the dishes. Oh, I have to go do this. I have to go do that. No matter how distracting your thought may be or how scary it may be, always remember to reel everything back into your breathing. That way you're more grounded. And it's fine if you think this or think that. That's okay. You, you always have your breath to anchor you and always go back to. Another thing that meditation has taught me is it's not the same for everyone. So... You don't have to compare your meditation session to the next person or the, the person who's done it for 30 minutes. Maybe you can take only one minute. Maybe you can take five minutes. As long as you go through it, you're fine. And there's no like, oh, he did it best. She did it best. There's no, no best way of meditating. Another thing that meditation has taught me is that it comes in many different forms. So you can be meditating... In the shower, there's something called shower meditation where you visualize the water cleansing you from all your negativity and all the any trauma that you may have had and you walk out a new person as you walk out of the shower. That That's something I've been using recently and it's been quite effective, honestly. And I would highly recommend that if you don't want to sit down and just, you know, start breathing. You, you can do that or you can also... Meditate while you're washing the dishes, basically. If you don't like washing the dishes, maybe you can use this as an excuse to do them. Basically, you can just focus on the pot that you're cleaning and on that only and nothing else. And you do that with the next pot and all that until you're done. There's also something that you have to remember. When you're meditating, don't expect results instantly because that will not happen. Like I've tried. At first, I was like, oh, I'm going to heal in two days when I start meditating. Th that was so wrong of me because I thought that, yeah, this is like a, it's going to fix me instantly. That's not true because it took about two weeks for me to see my first if positive result and it was unexpected. The results you get are unexpected. It's not like, okay, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect a result one month from now. That doesn't happen. Like, you just don't put a timer on meditation. It's It takes its own time. So yeah, the results vary for everyone. Like, it could be, you could see results five days from when you start. You could, one month, two months. I mean, it depends on everyone. You just have to be patient with it, honestly. And it's something that you have to stick with forever, I feel. Uh, you don't have to do it every single day, but consistency is is key when it comes to meditation so there are a few apps that i'd recommend uh, you can start uh, meditating with headspace headspace is a good one you can try calm calm is also a good app there's also one called breathe this app actually is just focused on breathing so if you want to do any box breathing or just any breath work i think it's very ideal if you don't have the time of day to you know, sit down for five minutes and you just want to do it for like 40 seconds or 30 seconds, this is the best app for it. This is my first video, so it's not going to be that uh, good, I guess. But I'll be using it as a reference for my next videos and see how I can improve. And also, if there is anything you think I need to improve, uh, just write it down in the comments and uh, I'd be more than happy to, to learn. But before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a quote. The mind can be a loyal servant, but it can also be a defiant one. And with that, have an amazing day, have an amazing week, 
and I hope to see you in my next video. I don't even have an outro yet, so I think I'm just gonna end it right here.